Many feared that COVID would cancel the athletic season altogether, but despite the pandemic, the Rocky soccer team continues to thrive. Uh, this season, we've been more aggressive, more playing as a team. Past seasons, we just haven't been playing as well. The Rocky soccer team continues to grow as a standout in the Northern Lakes Conference. Well, this season, uh, we've got like a great team. We, have a, uh, we don't have a weakness anywhere. Our team's pretty solid, and we've been playing together since we were younger. As for Grant Masson, he is in his third season as the Plymouth High School head soccer coach and his ninth year working as a teacher for Weiner School of Inquiry at PHS. I, I look upon it like, you know, before a game, it's almost like a chess match. You know, you're moving chess pieces around. It's just all focus on the game, all eyes on the game, and just mentally preparing. And then during the game, it's just giving it your all out on the field. And then after the game, obviously just the winning feeling feels great, but I mean, even if we lose, we, we take that loss and we learn from it. A lesson they haven't had to repeat this season because they haven't lost. Short terms is going up that ladder and being undefeated. A uh, long, long term goal is getting past sectionals, regionals, and seeing what's next. While the boys soccer team has faced their struggles in the past, the unity formed between the team cannot be broken. I like to call them active citizen actors. These are fine young men that can go out into society and do some good for others. You solidify that, that sense of family. Uh, they're going to help each other out whenever they can, and that shows on the soccer field. They're there for each other. The Rockies have four more games to play before sectionals. They travel to Elkhart High School tonight to battle the Lions at 5.30 p.m. Reporting from PTV Sports, I'm Tyler Ritchie.